today we're doing something out of the ordinary, what we don't really do at all. I'm here with Steve and Russ, and Russ's dogs, Marley and Suki. We're going back, we're going old school. We're going to be ferreting this morning. We haven't got a gun, we're going to be netting them and we're going to be using the whippets. So if we can find some rabbits, we're looking forward to a really, really good day. It's nice and cold. The holes are pretty clean, it's the end of the season, so we're not going to be worried about the pheasants or anything else. We're going to be having a walk around and see if we can get some rabbits, so it should be good fun. Right, the guys have just gone down there to um, have a look at these holes in this bank, see if there's anything in there. Apparently Suki, the little blue bitch, if there's a rabbit in there, she'll put her head in, she'll tell us whether there's one there or not instead of getting the ferrets out and everything else. So if she says it's good to go, we'll be getting the ferrets out and we'll be having a look. We're going to put the locator collars on the ferrets now, which is exactly what it says on the tin. So when the ferret's under the ground, we can tell how deep he is, whereabouts he is. So if he kills while he's down there, we can then dig down to him and get him out. So let's put the collar on. And then the further the closer it is, and it's got the depth on the side of the box, so you roughly know where he is. And the ferrets have been down a while now, and they've not shown for about three or four minutes. Steve's got the locator, and he's looking to see if he can find out roughly whereabouts they are in the warren. Do you believe that? We netted up there. There's some other holes here. We've been looking for the old ob ferret, and he's, he's come out of here nowhere near where we were netted up. But the dogs did go that way, so whether something's just bolted on the other side of the ridge or not. We're going to pick the nets up now from here. We're just going to move up. We're going to go and have a look in the edge row up there. We've come to this um, bank now. We can see where the sheep have been on it, but these holes look pretty well worked. And the dogs got very excited as well. So same process again. We'll net up and then we'll put the ferrets in and wait and hopefully we'll draw this time. Oh, we got one. Yeah, we just had a rabbit shot to the net. Saw the net and the dog, shot straight back in the hole. So there's definitely one in this bank. You can see the attitude of the dogs. A lot sharper, a lot more keen. Well, ferrets are there. And there he is. I think this rabbit's here between these roots somewhere. Both ferrets are still together. We've dug a hole here. It's what they call a stop end. It can't go any further. And the ferrets have got the rabbit backed up into there. I mean, it's just a case of digging down till we find where the ferrets have held him up and then we'll get him out, then we'll move on. So I'll add him up the stop end, shove it in here. Right. You ready? There we go. One rabbit, wise and healthy. Well, we Dispatched, job done. Awesome job. Good, clean, nice, healthy rabbit. So that's um, the first one. Had a lot of effort, really. Like I say, he showed twice at the holes and went back again. But we've got him now. Dogs are all excited. Yep. Ferret's done his job. We'll just fill this hole in, take the nets up, and we're moving on to the next place. <coughs> right, we've just moved off um, the top of the hill, which is up there. We've come back down into the bottom here. We've got one ferret in at the minute. We can hear something running around. You can hear it running under the front. The dogs are really keen. So definitely, definitely something giving it rock all here. This is the biggest warren we've done so far today. We've got loads and loads of nets out. As you can see, they're everywhere. There's holes everywhere. They're all well used, so fingers crossed we should have a good show out of this one. Whoa, net. She lost it when it went down the dip to the lake. That's what, she lost it then, lost sight of it like. The two rabbits that bolted out of there, one went that way, the dog had a course, if it weren't for the fence, she'd have got him. The other one went up over the top, we lost that one. Now we've swapped sides because the light's going, it's getting on in the afternoon now. We're going to do these um, little shallow ones that are underneath these trees, because if we do have to have a dig, they're not going to be that deep and we can get it done. Because we don't want to be leaving ferrets in the ground, and as soon as the light goes, something will go wrong. So, see how we get on. Well, Go in. Yeah, last, last, last more. Well, the rabbits push the ferret further on, and as you can see, we've gone one, two, three, and this is the fourth hole. We're still trying to get the rabbit. I could have grabbed it then, Skin, but I couldn't get it out because of that root. Yeah, you couldn't pull it out, could you? No. 
Hold on. We've got the rabbit. There we go, the end of another fantastic day. I've really, really enjoyed today. And it's a big thank you to Russ with his excellent ferrets, his excellent dogs, and big Steve. We've had a good day. We've got seven dead, not a great amount. We've missed three with holes that we didn't see. But like I say, it's been great fun. We've done a bit of digging. The dog had a bit of a course. So all in all, it's been absolutely fantastic and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it as well. And we'll catch you soon. Thanks a lot.